I'll make another video regarding the tensioner and I'll probably bring in the um, newer that I have to restore um, 764 and work on because this one's already tuned and I actually need to read into how to disassemble that. Um, so let's just focus on the pedal. Um, similar situation, I think it's common with these carbon pile resistors. Basically have a bunch of little discs and I'll show uh, a pause and show a website that details better than I will. Um, I don't have any of the wiper designs. I've donated all those. And I do have some of the more modern DIAC or pulse switch modulated, triac, whatever those are, electronic pedals. Um, I don't see any of those made with this type design. Um, so it looks like on Amazon, I'll show the links. You can order new ones, but I'm reading the comments that some are just the same there. It's like slow or fast, not real slow. And then others, it does vary, but there's not the real fast. So I don't know. Um, I do, I do see I have uh, one other Anechi machine that uses this, but I only have the machine inside the, uh, cabinet where the pedal is is of course outside and uh, stowed away behind and under stuff so similar to the white it's going to take a little time to dress up uh, for the cold weather outside we have snow now and go out and move some of that stuff around and uh, do a little work while I'm outside also because I can see some shoveling needs to be done so I'll go ahead and pause this uh, just basically um, you could repair these and I'll discuss this later or if you want to you could find one of these other pedals and then splice the wires into here because there's AC but make sure you know what you're doing you know and you need to understand code and whatnot for residential wiring at least um, so when you splice these together, you don't have, you know, leads that'll come off later if Wago or wire nuts are used, uh, if you're using the same outlet. But I'm going to go ahead and pause and show you what's available new if you want to try. But, yeah, it seems a little hit in this. So I'd almost think one of the electronic pedals I don't have in front of me. Uh, I, do right, I do right there. Um, those can vary, though, and they might be unique to the machine, so I don't want to comment, especially the Scener. Viking might not be, some other models might not be, but uh, I don't know, with all those plugs with the Scener, I wouldn't trust that design to be universal and easy, so it's kind of sticking with these ones just to be safe. Okay, I'm going to pause and then show the websites. So if I just sounded like, you know, a bunch of garbly glue, hopefully it made sense. Um, these websites might be able to detail better. Um, just search something like, you know, foot controls. What's the title of this? electric versus electronic foot controls and this page gives a good detail of the differences between the foot controls and then um this page oh where's the scrolling come on this is not scrolling up let's see if this will work here's a old kenmore swan machine foot control repair and then this is a link uh google search you should be able to find this this page does a good job of detailing what the gentleman did to repair these piles. He have these discs. I wouldn't use like he did brass. He has a lathe and he turned down brass to fill in the gap because those piles will wear out um, over time. I would use like a dry cell battery, a D battery, carbon rod. If you have an old one, maybe you can disassemble. I think it's just magnesium, uh, mag manganese oxide. You can throw that away. Um, I don't think it'd be too acidic. I think it'd be basic pH. But you just wash that with, like, distilled water of the rod, let it dry. And then if you have a lathe, you know, maybe you can take a cutting disc, Dremel tool, mount that on your tool holder. Um, or maybe uh, you could uh, maybe fix a bandsaw blade or a hacksaw blade on there with a backing uh, something or even a hacksaw maybe mounted um, somehow on the... the tool holder <laughs> cross slide yeah that'll be that'll be interesting um anyways probably even can put in a vice and just by hand with a dremel tool or a hacksaw if you're really careful and then just cut some discs um you might need to kind of polish them on sandpaper to get them flat um boy i don't know this will be interesting home brewing but i'm sure it can be done i'd, I'd rather do that with um graphite carbon rods you know uh, versus uh, brass it just doesn't make sense the graphite will make more resistance the brass won't so um, more piles means more resistance means starting off at a slower speed so the other thing is is they're made so this machine looks like reading the comments uh, this pedal I mean um, on Amazon 
starts off slower and just doesn't go as fast, maybe. I'm guessing it's going to be variable because these carbon piles and handling. Um, there's another one that's an all-metal design. It's a couple bucks more. This one reads like uh, it works great, but some say it's the same thing. Uh, you know, you get uh, the... Uh, uh, doesn't go and then all of a sudden it goes really fast so i don't know you know these designs that's probably why eventually they went to the more efficient um um uh you know digital electronic designs versus these analog electric designs okay i think that answers the question there and um i can't think of anything else so um have a good one be safe until next time bye for now